Hey everyone, welcome back to another Painting with Jay. As always, my name is Jay. I'm wearing my new magnifying glass headset. Yeah, got as a gift. Love it. <laughs> Woo. So today, I'm going to be painting up. This is kind of really trippy. I'm going to be painting up some more Tyranids. I'll be finishing up my Screamer Killer, working on a Hive Tyrant, and just talking about life. So enjoy. So grab a brush, grab some paints, grab some models, and paint along with me. Let's rid our world of unpainted models, shall we? I hope you're having a great time in internet land and you're ridding your world of unpainted models. Let's get started. As always, huge shout out to Cody, Rue, and Adam. You missed a spot right there. I can see it with these things on. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Painting with Jay. So, today I'm working on a couple things. I want to finish up the base for this uh, guy. I want to finish up his base for my Screamer Killer, which is all done now. Getting him done. Good, 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 good. And he looks awesome. I'm happy with him. Overall, I've finished painting. I'm, I'm going to include him in this number because he's done. I'm just basing him. I finished painting, um, let's see, 77 of my 81 Tyranids. 77. Which is good. I'm well on my way. All right, I'm catching up on my, my model a day. I just may go play down by the bay with some clay. What do you say? Um, yeah. So now I'm just going to dry brush some scrag brown onto the base. I did make a, actually a, I haven't edited it yet. I really got to edit it. Maybe, I just haven't decided what kind of style I want to do for the voiceover. But I did a quick basing tutorial of my, you know, just quick uh, winter bases. That way I hope, you know, maybe somebody gets something out of it. It's a quick and easy tutorial. Which is cool. I'm going to film, I'm trying to look for more, um, ideas for tutorials and videos inside my painting with J's or sorry, my painting with challenges right so like it was suggested um, you know I should do airbrush versus wet blending or airbrush versus contrast paints and I'm gonna do that for the next my next painting challenge with Necrons I have a perfect idea for that kind of stuff and for this you know this video uh, Sorry, not video. This uh, painting challenge I'm doing with Tyranids. Um, it's a good opportunity to do the basing. So I wanted to show the basing, how it, it turned out, you know, how to make a quick video on that. Um, I want to do the wings for the, um, the Tyranid Prime with wings. Just a quick and easy bait wing tutorial. And then I, I want to do a few things. I just haven't decided which ones yet. Um, Maybe a video or two using the um, psychophage because there's a lot of interesting details on the psychophage that I could do videos on, you know, like the smoke or the face, the ten the tendrils in the front, wet blending with contrast paints or something. It'd be cool. Cool. Look at that. So we'll see. We'll see. I just haven't decided what I want to do yet. But I'm trying to just, I want to make more videos, especially on the painting side. I really do want to increase my painting side. I don't know what most people subscribe to my channel for. Probably a combination of painting and battle reports and stuff years ago. Because I used to do battle reports. Um, used to. And so I just haven't decided yet. I really should get more painting videos out there. Because I do a lot of just review videos and tact, not tactica, just review videos in general or, or news or something, but because they're easy, they're cheap to make. But they're easy, right? I can make them on a night. And I really should start making like a video that takes me like a week or two on the side. Again, like a basing tutorial or a painting tutorial, something, something paint wise. Um, painting videos are still my top viewed videos because they have longevity. People get vi stuff from painting videos, right? Painting videos make sense. You know, a review video is only good until the next rule comes out. So I'm just going to take some Valhalla Blizzard. A lot of Valhalla Blizzard, actually. This might be the rest of this bottle. We'll see. Valhalla Blizzard actually lasted longer than I thought it would. It lasted about 60 models. 
and my mud lasted about 70 for the next bottle. So, cool. I'm just going to put this on here, and that'll be the end of this guy for the night. Um, I just really want to get here, and then that way I can do the around the base part later when this is dried, because I don't want to ruin the paint job of the snow. But he's done. So number 77 will be complete. I have four models left of my new models. And then I have two that I'm calling my bonus round. There's two models that I really want to work on. And again, I might make videos on them. I actually think it'd be cool to watch to make a video about, you know, fixing up old models to improve them or to make them usable again. You know, I found while I was just uh, organizing my Tyranids, because again, I'm figuring out, you know, what my Tyranids are, I found the pieces of an old Carnifex that I had converted to a Turvagon back in the day when uh, Turvagons weren't a, uh, a model yet. You know, just after the, the Codex came out in 5th, I believe, at the Turvagon? Yeah, 5th. Turvagon didn't come out, I think, till 6th or 7th. So, um, it was a way to convert the models, and so I just, I, I found this tutorial online, and I mimicked it, and it was cool. And it got me, it was a good conversion at the time, or so I thought, and it got me some conversion points at tournaments and stuff, and, um, but then it broke, and obviously then eventually a, uh, a real model came out. And so it, it's not good anymore. And so I would like to deconvert it back to a, uh, back to a, a, tire, uh, a card effects. And luckily I collect the bits from all the other pieces, you know, I, I like to keep them in for this purpose. So I did the, the bit count and I can easily, um, bring it back to a Carnifex that would actually be good. Like, my favorite Carnifex build right now is still double Devourers. Sorry, like, two Devourers and two Scything Talons. Alright. And so, and plus, I have to fix my Hive Tyrants. One of them was magnetized, so that was easy. I just replaced it with Scything Talons. Because, again, since I stopped playing Tyranids last edition, obviously the, the new edition, uh, you can't have Devourers anymore for, for um, your Tyranid, so your Hive Tyrants, right? Because you can only have them on the Carnifex, because uh, that's the kit that it comes with, which makes sense, right? Which is why, again, in my previous video, I was talking about the Cyclic Ion Blasters. For Tau, they're not in the standard base kits for the suits. Right there in the captain kits. So I would predict they're going to go. Because that's what GW's been doing. That makes sense. Going to Legends. <sighs> happens. Happens, happens, happens. You know... I don't actually know what I wanted to talk about today, but let's get a little edgy. There's a handful of videos that I want to make, and I will make eventually. And one of my videos that just, there have been topics that I've always dodged in the miniature wargaming field, just because I like to stay respectful and nice, and I, I'm still going to address these things respectfully and nice, but... Um, one of the videos I've asked, been asked tons of times over the last, you know, 10 years or so was, how was my experience of mini war gaming? Um, how did I get hired? How was my overall experience? The goods, the bads, the uglies, you know, um, what do I think about their stuff right now? Do I watch their videos? etc. And I wanted, I actually do want to make this video and every time I almost get the courage to make this video, I don't. Because, to me, I worked for them only for like a, two years. And I've, you know, I took, my channel took off years through my hard work. I got hired there through my hard work, I believe. And I don't want to, 
I feel it's almost cheap to uh, make a video addressing a bigger thing. But then again, like, all my videos address GW, right? And so, I just don't know. But man, Mini Wargaming really annoyed me the other day. I'm going to be honest about it. Let's talk about it. I got really annoyed. And I don't care if there's subscribers here that are fans of Mini Wargaming. Awesome. Right? I'm, I'm still a subscriber of Mini Wargaming. I didn't unsubscribe to them. Right? I'm a lifetime gold vault member. Um, I haven't used my vault membership in a long time. But uh, I'm a lifetime gold vault member. Also, former employee, so I'm coded as lifetime vault vault member. But I had already purchased it at that time. <laughs> During the... Um, Dark, what was it called? Not Dark Vengeance, Dark... I forgot what it was called. The game that Matt did. But... You know, I don't like clickbait, and I know I've talked about this, and I maybe inadvertently a time, time or two created a clickbait title, and I ended up correcting it once I realized how clickbaity it was. And I get it that in our niche, it's small, and everyone's competing for views and attention, and some of the better YouTubers in our niche, you know, clickbait. Everything's clickbait. The biggest change ever. GW destroyed my army. Right? And I don't like it. I don't pay attention to these videos. I don't get anything from those videos. I don't like to give them my attention. Yeah. And it's always a picture of them like, oh! Like on the front there, right? Cool. So, I don't do that kind of crap. But, whatever. Probably why I don't get as many views. So what? Uh, so, Mini Wargaming is one of the biggest, is still one of the biggest players in our niche. And Matt, who I am still on good terms with, I'm still on great terms with Matt. In fact, I'm going to go probably, uh, I'm not going to like hang out with him for a little while, but I'll say hi to him at Adepticon and talk to him. I'll catch up. I'm going to see him at Adepticon next week. Um, Matt has been making these occasional videos, usually it's like once a month, and they're getting really clickbaity. I'm so sorry. Man, did I screw up. I feel so bad. I missed it. Like, okay, this is the worst kind of crap. And he posted a video last week that I caught instantly. I was one of the, like, I'm a subscriber to Mini Wargaming, and it flipped, it got a video to the point where I was like, come on. It was called Quitting YouTube. Like, that's a really cheap tactic that some YouTubers always, you know, every now and then YouTubers um, post, I'm quitting YouTube, I'm quitting the game, I'm done. And sometimes it's real. But usually those ones are like, goodbye. They say something like, goodbye. And they mean it. There's There's been several big YouTubers, not in our niche, but like in general, uh, leaving YouTube over the last uh, little while. And they say goodbye, and they do a heartfelt goodbye. And there you go, he's done. Hive Tyrant time. Uh, so, now it's time to paint my Hive Tyrant. As I said, normally in my painting order, I would paint my Tyranny Prime with wings, but I'm gonna make some videos on him. I don't know why I painted that wing first. I'm gonna paint the wing. I wanna show what I do with the wings. So, whatever. Um, it really annoyed me. So, Matt posted a video called Leaving YouTube. Obviously, clickbait, right? Like, Matt's not leaving YouTube. Mini Wargaming is not leaving YouTube. It is not leaving... No one's leaving YouTube, right? Like, that's a clickbaity title. And, like, that's the used and used and used clickbaity title. And I'm like, come on. What is this video about? And I said to myself, okay. This video better not be, like, something stupid. Like, hitting people up for money. Or being like, I'm quitting YouTube because we don't get enough money, right? Like, I knew, I, like, I was really hoping it was, like, I don't know, maybe it was a serious video about quitting YouTube. But, um, whatever. But, yeah, it was, it was literally that. It was about a 20-minute video of Matt just essentially begging for more money from the YouTube viewers. And so I'm going to take some uh, Lothurn Blue, and I'm going to use some Glaze Medium. And I want to paint the uh, Bone Sword right now. But um, that was essentially it. It was like, oh, by the way, I got this cool head. I got the, I, I tried the magnetizing headset. I got it for, as a gift. So, uh, 
I'm gonna grab that as well. I might. I've been trying to, I dropped one of the glasses though and broke it. So I only have a few of the lenses left. But, it really annoyed me. I just, I, I just, I'm like, come on, Mini Wargaming, you are the, you helped Real, it's almost like when you're you're disappointing your idols, they helped get me into the niche. They helped get me into making videos. And now they're resorting to silliness. Just silliness, right? Like that's that's silly. You're now clickbaiting titles to, to try to come up with money, and it's like, okay. And like, come on. Mini wargaming, I'm not I don't I don't know their exact finances. I don't. I don't. But we do know through their videos, and they've released finances in the past, right? Like they've they've released like content, like hey, we raised two million dollars for our board game, which our our um, model game, which is awesome. Like I'm really happy for them. I wish them nothing but the best, nothing but the best, one hundred percent. But I'm like, come on. Like we we know that they get a very large portion of the um, like. Every person who subscribes to a channel in miniature wargaming has a limited amount of money, and they have a very large portion of the pie because they're the OGs, right? They're the ones who really started the pay subscription model for miniature wargaming, right? They paved the way for a lot of YouTubers, and, and in a way, me, right? Uh, I did a paid subscription model for a long time, too. Oh, there's my... Uh... I'm just shaking up some glaze medium. I decided I'm going to try some glaze medium for this. What is Jay doing? So. And then occasionally they just come out with these videos being like, okay, here are our plans. And they have such grandiose plans. Right? Like, they're so grandiose. It's just giant. And they're like, well, we want to, you know, increase our building. And, like, we already built these crazy studios and this hotel. And, and we want to basically take over the world. And we want to go into this level and this. I'm like, okay, dudes. Chill. Just chill. Right? Chill. You don't have to take over the world today. You don't have to. You don't have to take over the world. Right? Just chill. And it's like, obviously, um, they've gotten tremendous support from the community, and they deserve it. I'm not saying they don't. But it's like, come on, dudes. Like, be, I'm saying be more responsible because it's clear that they're they're spending the money obviously that they make, which is okay. They can. They can run their company however they want, obviously. But it's like, okay, you're 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 constantly coming back to a source of money that you just hopefully is, you just pray is forever able to be tapped. You know, they're they're always like Hey, can we have more money? 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 Can we have some can we have some more money of yours? You know, hey, I know you guys have supported us in the past and girls, but uh, like can we can we have more money? Can we have more money? That's kind of it, right? They just uh, really annoyed me. Just they they obviously they already get such support from the community, and I feel sometimes that their appreciation of the community is not there. They see us as cash cows. They do not, you know? Because if I respected my viewers, I wouldn't put up a video that's 17 minutes long with clickbait titles, which is essentially like, hey, if you don't support us, we're going to go under. Because, um, uh, we need your support. I'm like, okay, but, you, like, come on. And to be fair, I don't watch a lot of their content anymore. You know, if, if I was to rank the top Battle Report channels, I wouldn't put theirs in the top five. If I was to rank the best painting videos... I wouldn't put them in the top five. So I ask myself sometimes what I really get from mini wargaming videos sometimes, you know? 
And this isn't just a mini Wargame bashing video, because this isn't. It isn't. I promise you it isn't. Because I really like the guys. I respect the guys. You know? I'm on great terms with them. It just... Dis, I'm just dis disappointed, to be honest. And I feel like talking about this right now is almost taboo, because they are the OGs. But I'm just disappointed. I'm really disappointed in them. That they had to resort to a clickbait video to simply hit up their audience for more money. And being like, well, you know, we don't really want it for free. We just don't want to hand you the money, but maybe we'll do some like lifetime silver memberships. Right? Which is essentially just, you know, free fundraising. It doesn't cost them anything to produce a product that they um they'll get money for. And it was just okay. Like and I get it. It's probably it was I'm hoping, I'm just really hoping it wasn't their first tactic. It wasn't their first tactic, I hope. But man. And I get it, it's probably stressful. I really am trying to put myself in their shoes. I really am. But it really annoyed me. Just, again, and I get it. Like, our niche is tough. It really is to keep going. And if you th see the biggest channels in the world starting to fold, it's because it's, it's not as easy as people think it is. I agree. It's tough in our niche. We're a small niche. We can't, you know... It's very hard to thrive and to do this for a living. You have to have a lot of support from the community, but like support can be lost, support can be gained. You know? This is cool. I like this guy's look. It's gonna be very icy. So yeah, I'm using glaze medium because I decided I wanted to use glaze medium. But yeah, I was disappointed. I was I was definitely disappointed. And I kind of had an epiphany that I don't want people's money. Like I I'm I'm fortunate that I have a job that I like. I like my job. It's a job. It's a job, right? Like it's it's just a job. It's not my be all end all career. But it pays the bills. And I can make videos that I love. That I love to make. Like this painting with Jay. Right? No one's paying me to make this painting with Jay. I'm making it because I want to make this painting with Jay. Because we all love to paint and rid our world of unpainted models. So, I just want to keep doing this. And I want to keep doing this for free. I've kind of made that decision. For the indefinite future, I'm not going to do any paid thing. I'm not going to do a membership. I'm not going to do anything. Because, yeah, sure, like I might miss out on some people wanting to support me, which is cool. And anybody wanted to support me, awesome. If you want to support me, just watch my videos. I'll learn a little bit of change. I'll keep making videos. You know, I'm... I'm happy. I'm really, I'm really happy with my life right now. And there's real pros to not, to not have to, you know, to, to, the moment you start charging, you're obligated and you have that sense of obligation to your viewers, because you're charging for something. You, you have to maintain their support, right? Now, maybe I'll use some thin down, yeah, maybe I'll use some thin down. For this area, I'm gonna dry brush. For this area, I'm gonna dry brush, but maybe for these areas, I might just go and use some, uh, I'll see how this looks. I might use some thin down uh, shade. That might be the best option. It might create some nice, cool tones. 
Um, what do I want to do for the bone? I've never actually done a lash whip before. I've never had a lash whip guy. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Sorry, back on track. Um, yeah, I am, I'm happy. I am really happy. And I don't need the support financially. I don't. I don't need to, you know, beg people for money. I'd love if, if I would stop losing subscribers so often. That's a different story. Um, I'm going to take some Cantor Blue and thin it down and paint some Cantor Blue. But I'm happy, and I have a job that pays the bills right now. And as long as I have this job, I love making these videos for free. I love it. I have ha enjoyed, honestly, making videos for free more over these last six months than I probably ever did. Maybe not. I loved making videos when I was... I don't know. But I love it. Just It feels great. It feels great to that I just... If I want to make a video today, I'm going to make a video. And I do love making videos. I love making videos. I love filming. I love impacting the community. Um, but I love being a part of the community. I love painting with you guys. I love it. But once you start charging, you feel that sense of obligation. It becomes a part of your job. And I'm not kidding... That feel of obligation sometimes can just drive you insane. And you feel bad. Like, if you don't put up a video today, you feel bad. You feel like you're in a rat race. And you feel like you're losing. Or you're going to lose subscribers. Or you could have gained a subscriber. Or, you know, you're, you're not giving enough to your community. And it just, it, it, that's what really burns you as a content creator full time. Is that when you're being a full-time content creator, that sense of obligation, and then also, of course, your income is tied to this, right? It's tied to this. It's not um, independent. So you, the more videos you make, the better you do. And in our niche, one by one, what you'll find is that content creators can burn out or something happens you know, like for me, um, I used to make a decent, decent, I can't really go over the numbers. I had a, it was back in the, what was it called? YouTube, I forgot what it was called. YouTube membership version called The Warp. And it was awesome. You know, obviously I knew it was a white knight supporting me. I hope that they got something from it. Um, and it paid okay. Help me allow to make videos. Uh, but one day, YouTube said we're eliminating the program. So I stopped making videos on it because I couldn't do any more. Lost my channel. And that's the thing. Like when you rely on Patreon, they take a cut. Or if you rely on, I don't know what the other sites are people use. I'll say Patreon. They take a cut. And if they ever change their policies or you break their policies, you're in trouble. And obviously, you can do YouTube. Um, but, and I get it, like, like when I started working for Mini Wargaming, they were using, uh, what was that website? Vi Video? What, Vimeo? I think it was Vimeo. I don't know. But, like, Mini Wargaming is one of the biggest channels in the world in our niche, and here they are. Resorting to cheap views for money. And I don't like that. I just, I felt that was really disingenuous. And I feel that if you appreciated your viewers, as I mentioned, as much as they should, because I honestly, the thing I miss the most, and this is not a sucking up at all, I miss the viewers. I missed interacting with the community when I wasn't making videos. And there are so many viewers that I'm stupidly excited to see next week. Because I know at least... Oh, pain in the hand. Um, that I know that certain viewers are going to be there. Like Tom's going to be there. And Mikey's going to be there. Right? And I am so excited to see them. It is awesome. Like, And I'm just... I miss that. 
I miss that so much. And I feel it is very cheap and disingenuous to me. And as I said, I don't really... Yeah, that's. I should probably stop talking, whatever. But what's going to happen, right? I can't get penalized for... They know what they did. And in fact, it was very evident that Mini Wargaming <laughs> knew what they did and that they annoyed people because after like three hours, they changed the name of their video. So for those of you who are talking about the video that I'm... I'm they changed it. I forget what they called it, like channels leaving YouTube or something, whatever it was called. But it originally was called Leaving YouTube. And Mini Wargaming kind of got caught, and a lot of people were really disappointed in them, like me. And they changed the title, which makes sense. They should have, because that is a click baby title. Like, I get it. And then literally, like, the the viewers were like, hey man, like, you're that desperate for clicks? To which Mini Wargaming, now I don't know if this was Matt, I'm assuming it was Matt, because Matt was the only one... Like, Matt posted the video. Matt filmed the video. Uh, Mini Wargaming. Somebody on Mini Wargaming responded with, Clicks are life. So, okay. And then that kind of angered more people. And then they eventually changed their title. And again, they're a big company. They make mistakes, obviously. But it's like, okay, dudes. Like, chill. Chill. You know, to me... I'd be more focused if I were them, uh, but they're not. They they tend to focus on um, what's it called, like uh, the point of maximum return, right? And, and then dwindling returns past that. And that's why Mini Wargaming has not stepped up their quality in many years. I'm looking for my white. Uh, <laughs> there it is. I'm gonna work. Contrast white. Let's use it. So, like, Mini Wargaming had, at one point, arguably one of the better quality battle reports. And their uh, vault contained a lot of good painting videos. But, there's a depreciating return on battle reports. Because no matter how good your battle report is, after certain... Like, there are people who spend 40 man hours. 50 man hours, 60 man hours on a battle report, right? And th that's awesome, and it leads to an amazing product, but doesn't gain that many more viewers. I do see that point. It doesn't gain that much more viewers, right? Like, you could be the greatest battle report ever, but it's not going to get you that many more views than a, one that takes half the time or a quarter of the time. And there are some people who just really take a lot of pride in their work. And I really appreciate that, but it's it's a battle report, right? And so, but there are YouTubers in our niche where you can clearly see they probably spend 30 plus man hours. And let's say they make 300 bucks, which is on the high side, right? These days, very few views get, you know, I'm guessing $300 for a battle report is pretty high, right? They don't tend to have a lot of longevity. Uh, they're, they get a really popular around the time of release. So, like, right now, on Saturday, there's going to be a bunch of new Tau, probably, battle reports. And so, that'll be cool. It'll get a bunch of views. Cool. But, the, it, let's say it takes, you know, 35, 40 man hours, and you're only making 200 bucks, you're being paid $5 an hour. Which, for a normal YouTuber, awesome. Right? But if you're doing this for your life, for your, for your longevity, it's like, oh... Crap, I just spent, you know, like that's that's you're you're paying yourself five dollars an hour. Right? So that's what kind of happens. And and mini wargaming is very big on that. And Matt's revealed this I'm not revealing anything that isn't hidden, uh sort of that isn't uh public. Matt has talked about this in many times in his videos. I use glaze medium and it's not dry yet. Whatever. I'll just use a little bit right now. So Oh yeah, I like that. It's a little darker. Let's rip off the excess. Oh yeah, that just settles nicely. I like. So. Matt has talked about that. The depreciating return in his videos. But, you know, if I were him, I'd maybe focus on just making better content. Bring yourself back up to the being the best. Because if you're asking for more, 
money without really giving anything back. It, number one, doesn't seem like a very good business model. Number two, it seems like you're taking your viewers for granted. So with that announcement, I'm going to talk about my paycheck. No kidding, I'm just joking. But I've decided I don't need my... If you want to support me, you don't have to pay me. Just watch my videos, paint along with me. Please leave comments. Talk with me. That's what keeps me motivated. And honestly, I'm not... I don't even know what the term is. I don't know. Bragging? Well, I guess I am bragging. But I'm, I'm happy. I am really... Well, I'm happy. And I don't... It feels great not having to be in the position where I have to, you know, beg for the money. That I have to encourage you to support me from your hard jobs. So, yeah. I don't need your money. That's what I'm going to tie this video. I don't need your money. Or I don't want your money. Or I don't want your milk. Whichever one. I really like these magnifying glass things. They make my eyes look really weird. I felt good to get that off my chest. I hope I didn't come off as petty. If I did, eh, sorry. But I just wanted to talk about that. And I tell them to their faces. I don't know if I'm going to bring it up next week when I see them. I might. Just be like, dudes, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know? What are you doing? Because... Cool. I'll have to let that part dry. What next? Uh, I did this part. That's all dry, actually. Let's do that shade there. I love hive tyrants. This is my... I don't even know. I think it's my fourth, fifth hive tyrant. Well, I painted one swarm lord. This is my fourth hive tyrant. So I have two winged hive tyrants, two walking. Can't wait to have these Tyranids done. It's going to be awesome. You know, it's going to be great. I can't wait. I, I want to have a game with them in the near future. Especially with the uh, Norm Emissary. I've really enjoyed painting these guys, actually. I want to make a video about this. I was kind of wrong when it came to the models. The models are nicer than I gave them credit for. Especially the new like Gar Gaunts and the new Hormigant models. They're actually nicer. It's a pleasant surprise. And I enjoyed painting them. The new tier, um, Gene Steelers, enjoyed painting them too. I've really enjoyed painting all these guys. Yeah, the Ron Ryan Sleepers, they're cool. You know, these new models have some, some really character. I like it. So, what do I want to paint now? Um, let's paint the claws and hooves because I. I'm almost out of black, actually. I might just pick up some more this weekend. So yeah, my goal is to finish this Hive Tyrant tonight. Or probably not tonight. It'll be pretty close to be done tonight. But 
Um, so finish painting the hive tire. That'll put me up to 78 models. There are three models left, and then, as I said, then painting the other hive tyrant and the carnifex. So I should have I should be busy for the rest of the month easily. I'll probably be done shortly, like first week of March. Not March, April. And then uh, start the next paint challenge, which is yeah, Necrons. I've decided I don't want to paint Necrons. And that's why Necrons are my next. I'm going to reward myself, as I've been doing all along, with... I'm going to start by painting the models I don't want to paint, and the army I don't want to paint. Let me get that back centered. There we go. Uh, the army that I don't really want to paint is Necrons. I don't know why. I really enjoy usually painting Necrons. I don't know why. Just not feeling it. But that means that I'm going to paint them, and I'm going to use the other models that I really want to paint as the motivation. I only have like 30... I think I have like 30... Necron models. Uh, mostly not complicated ones, but... So it shouldn't be too bad. But, yeah. Necrons. Because... Necrons. The one thing is, it just puts things in perspective. Once again, the people who are never happy with the what they have, always trying to get bigger and better, which isn't bad. It's always good to improve, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, some Necrons are next. But the goal, of course, to get these Tyrants done. They look awesome. I'm really enjoying them. Fix up a couple more Tyranids. Keep going. This year is the year of painting and the year of getting my mod pile of shame dealt with. I don't know if I'll be finished it. But it'll be pretty close to dead at the end. Which is awesome. Also, I really do like the Crute. To be honest, I really do like this new Crute box set. They look awesome. Crute. I think I like the Crute better than the actual Tau. I'm not starting Tau or if I was to do anything after painting all these guys, I want to probably, you know, if I want to do anything, it would be start a new game eventually. But I can't start a new game with a clear conscience. Like, I'd love, I'd love to try AOS or, you know, the, the new, what is it called? The new Warhammer one. Yeah. For good things. The one that's very much old, like all the old game. Excuse me. I feel better actually than I talked about that.
cool. All right, what other parts do I want to paint right now? It's going to be a bone sword. I'm going to be there. Yeah. Overall, I'm happy with this guy so far. But I hope you're, everything's going well in internet land. I really do. I want all of us to rid our world of unpainted models this year. And that way next year, we're just laughing. We're laughing. Oh, I missed a spot. Adam, you missed a spot too. I need to paint. I need to dry brush that area. It looks pretty dry. Can't believe I pulled an Adam. But this dude will be done the next couple days. For Adepticon, I'm hoping to have him done. I just I don't know how much painting I'm going to get done next week. I was really trying to get a painting with Jay done. Maybe I'll have time. Mm. We'll see. I'll see if I have time to do a painting with Jay for next week. Because I was hoping to like pre-do some content before I go to Adepticon. Maybe I'll do a part two of this guy. We'll see. If I have time. Just uh, no pressure if I don't. I will try. Um, I really do, as I said, the Psychophage looks cool, but I, I just, I see some tutorial ideas with him. I do, you know, I see some ideas, like maybe a smoke tutorial, maybe the body, maybe the tentacles. We'll see. I just see potential for tutorials with him and then, yeah, we'll see. So he doesn't, he's an one I don't really want to do a painting with Jay with. And then, of course, is the big boy. Norm. Call him Hey Norm. Can't wait to get this guy all looking good. The base is a little busy. But not much left. Again, I only have hours left. Like, two or three hours on him. He's done, too. So. And then. El Broken Carnifexo. Oh, knocked over my light. So let me show you this guy. This was the uh, this was the body of him. It was extended. I extended the body, which terrible, terrible green stuffing. He had little shooting eggs out. He was the old, and he had like claws here. So yeah, he needs to be broken up a lot. I've magnetized him, so I'm going to demagnetize him, clean him up hugely. See if I can get this guy back together, looking good. So that'll be one of my challenges. Get another Carnifex on the table. It'll be worth it. Cool. All right. What do I want to do now? Let's paint a dry brush there. I love this little dry brush. Cool. I want to do white. <laughs> this is not my white that I had going. Oh, there it is. Maybe some yellow for that symbol. That's the other thing. If I'm not really relying on stuff, I can kind of be a little more fearless. And I'm not a jerk by any means, right? I'm a nice guy, but I just... It's nice to be able to talk your mind sometimes. Clear the, you know, clear the air. Just felt that that was really annoying. So it's good to talk about it. Cool. That's good with me. Let's grab some yellow. Oh, yeah. I love the new yellow. The, uh... Uh, yep. Imperial Fist. One hour, it's all it takes, you know. I feel like the end the end of these Penguin Jays, I've gotten so much more accomplished.
So please leave comments in the comment section down below. Are you okay if I just run it like this sometimes? I promise I'm not going to be too negative. But I just like to sometimes get things off my chest. And I try to keep things light and fluffy. Just sometimes it's nice to just open up. Be human. Let me know. Am I being petty? Are you okay with this? Please leave comments. I actually really do care what you think. I really do. I'm not going to be like, oh, ignore. Block. Adam for telling me for keep me telling me he missed a spot. If Adam doesn't want to be told he's missed a spot, he's gotta stop missing spots. Like that's just kind of it, right? You can't just not miss spot you, you can't miss spots and then be like, oh, you know, stop telling me I'm missing spots. Actually one of one of his videos recently said that to him. <laughs> that was fun. He knows I'm joking though. Adam and I go way back. Adam's a really good guy. For those of you who don't know who Adam is, by the way, I got that brought up by the way. Adam is a Greenleaf Terrain. So, he uh, he makes some incredible terrain pieces for Mini Wargaming and, and the people. Like, he, he, like, stuff that used to be my own battle reports was hit, the stuff he made. He is amazing. I give him full props. He doesn't actually miss spots, but it was just really funny because I knew he was watching my videos. So, um, is this still wet? It is. Oh my goodness. Or no, it's dry. Good. Blaze me. So, I knew he was watching my videos, and so I thought it was just funny if I was just pretending like I was painting with him and turned to him and said, you missed a spot. And it really messed with him because he didn't really realize that I knew he was watching my videos. And so I just kept it up because he's a good guy. You know, just like I give a shout out to Cody Roo. It's just a way of just letting y'all know that y'all are here with me, right? When I feel like I'm painting with Jay, I'm not alone with this. I don't feel like I'm alone with this task. It feels really good. So I'm just going to do a couple of quick dry brushes. Where are we at now? Should be about an hour, 51 minutes. Cool. Let's keep going. But you see that, like, after one hour, one hour, this guy is looking good. I'm happy with this. I'm very happy with this. Then it's got to finish him up tomorrow, base him, and then get to the, uh, the next guy. These models aren't going to paint themselves. That'd be awesome. Self-painting models, I can invent that. Then I'd be rich. Definitely wouldn't need the support of the community. My self painting models. Jeez, fancy models. Models that paint themselves. I got the slogan. Well, those models aren't going to paint themselves. They actually will. Jay's fancy painting models. Brought to you by Jay's Models. It really tones down the, the blues. Creates a little bit of grains. Like it. Like it a lot. My head's gonna have, I'm gonna have the craziest headband view at the end of this. Because of my um, headset I'm using right now. Whatever. Cool. Yeah, I might have to end soon just because I'm running out of stuff to paint at the moment. That has to dry, that has to dry still. That's wet. Most stuff's wet. I can start wet blending. The blacks are still wet too because I thinned it, you know. It's been, it should dry pretty quickly, but. Yeah, sorry for ranting if you didn't like it. I promise I'm not going to be ranting every pain with Jay. It kind of annoyed me, as I said. I want to get off my chest. 
Cool. Look at that. He's coming along. He's really coming along. I'm probably gonna end it now because the rest of the paint's drying, and I'm it, I'm gonna wet blend the uh, the reds and the black eventually. I just wanted to get that that foundation done for the claws. But in the end, I got the basing done for my um, Screamer Killer, and that's all. Oh, I'm so excited to get him on the table. I just gotta do the black ring around the base. Um, Screamer Killer is the one I'm super excited to get on the tabletop, and then this guy is. He's on his way, right? I got another probably 20 minutes of painting, 30 minutes of painting, and then uh, basing. So he'll be done in the next couple nights. Good stuff. Good stuff. And then uh, on to the next guy. So let's end now. So that concludes another painting with Jay. <laughs> it's so weird seeing myself with this thing on. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and paint along with me and you got your models painting, your reading world of unpainted models. Thank you for letting me rant, and uh, please keep painting along with me. Stay tuned for more Painting with Jays. Like something this is Jay saying, happy painting with me and this wacky headset.